Hello fellow Seven Days to Die Gamers, this is Games for Kicks and welcome to another episode of, <clears throat> of my Seven Days to Die Let's Play series. As you can hear in the background, a lot of things have gone on. I spent all of day 30, 36 um, uh, gathering resources, uh, doing general gathering stuff. I went up to the old house, emptied the supply crates and look what is waiting out here as I was gathering. Um, funny enough, this is not the Feral Horde. This is... Um, this seems to be just an ordinary Horde. The, the thir Day 35 Feral Horde actually never showed up. Okay, so I don't know what the story is with that. They just never showed up. And I pretty much just continued gathering then and... Um, Left a little, but look at this. Look at all these zombies standing there. Th that's not normal. It isn't. I mean, you can't tell me that that's normal. Like, I, they're completely bugged out, and I have no idea what the hell is going on. They just stand there like morons, and I'm sure they will hit me if I get close to them, but they, they, they're not even hitting the wall, nothing, the wood. They just stand there. It's like they're completely incapable of um, attacking anything. Okay, we had a few of them coming from here, which I'm going to take care of now. Yeah. It's a bit weird, I mean, I think they're definitely... Um, oh, there's someone there. There we go, we took care of that. Now, it is all a bit weird, I have no idea what the hell is going on here. Um, oh, where? Where are you? I can hear you. Oh, sorry, just let me say up front, please. Um, if the sound is a bit different than usual, I got a new microphone, and I'm testing it basically out in this recording. It's a Blue Yeti, which is quite sensitive, and it records every single noise, so... I'm maybe alternating between that when I have peace and quiet in the house and look there, there's more and more coming they're just it's weird but these guys over there just not look at this they're just standing there ready for the slaughter they don't care they just stand there and there's more coming there is there look at this they're not even coming near my house okay so I think the best way to deal with that is to actually lure them to my house and to make them go into my house. Hey guys, come over here. Yeah, that's nice. One after the next, and here we go. Thank you. I can make loads more bullets. But what I actually want, I want them to follow me, okay? And I'm gonna take some of these blocks out so they can actually walk through. So they don't stand there like morons. Yay, you're walking through. Nice, happy. So. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna go into my house and wait for them now. Hey, look at that. Hopefully they're coming to my house now. Yes, finally. Was about damn time. Come on. Boom. Oh, I told him I got you right in the head there. Come on. Uh, one more shot. There we are. Um, we need the crossbow for the better aim now. For this guy over there. Oh, I thought I got him. And... Yep. Oh, still missed him. Yeah, they're not that easy to hit from the distance. Yeah, I'm just trying to detain myself while... Uh, the zombies are gonna die down there slowly on my wall I have a horrible aim this is just awful anyway so as you can see they, they're all dead now but this was the weirdest thing I have ever seen it's like they were incapable of getting over the ramps 
and they also didn't hit the ramps they they just were like i i don't know how to deal with the ramp i mean i know zombies are not the most intelligent of beings but seriously that dumb i didn't really think that they would be that dumb okay there's still a few left i don't know where they are so let's just have a look and get down there oh look at that yeah of course hey you ah he's dead now yeah so they didn't really do too much damage to be honest um so yeah so sorry guys i wasn't able to show you a feral horde um for day 35 but basically i want to continue on this farm after i did my last loot run and i show you what i have in mind now did i close my door to my mine yes i did <laughs> And I have actually everything I need over there in the mine. Come on. Okay, there's still somebody obviously underwater somewhere. Oh, look at that. Huh. Are they making their way in there? Oh, I don't know. But somewhere somebody is hitting a wall and I don't know where that is coming from. It's not over here. It's not over there. Where is that coming from? I can't see that zombie. Is it somewhere here underwater? No? Oh, I can hear many, many footsteps again. Is there something else coming from the top there? No? Oh, way! Hey, 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 hey! Look at that! Hello! Okay. If I keep a low profile, will they just walk past? Will they not care about me? That would be great. Wow, there's a lot of zombies coming through here. So I can't wait to actually have this um, this area here finished. Because, um, wow, yeah, that looks pretty amazing. These guys are going right through and they will probably hit the... Whatever you call it, the, the cliff again, taking it down. Which would be really bad, actually. I wouldn't fancy that too much. So, mm. yeah. Well, I'm waiting here for these guys to pass. Um, just let me ask you. Uh, well, not ask you. Oh, hey! One of you had a, got a bit of. Uh... Hello. Hello. So now you're able to jump over. You, you, the other guys were just completely bugged out. Okay, he's gone up and down, up and down, up and down, and boom. Uh, big guy here. Oh, right through the legs. There we go. Okay, nobody else there. Nobody else got my attention. Okay. Ah, oh, but they're destroying my cliff now. I, I really have to start building some kind of wall or something there and a roof because this is just ridiculous. I can't have them constantly just destroy everything. I mean, look at this. This is just so rude. you thought this episode was going to be boring <laughs> we have underwater warfare okay I mean how much more exciting can that get how much more exciting can underwater can that get that's just amazing come on you gotta admit this is pretty awesome now uh, who's still hitting my wall Ah, oh, hello, lady. Thank you. No, nobody else left there. No. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come up with something. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna build a metal trussing roof with spikes on it really quickly and just get that over and done with. So if they come from the top again, 
they are just going to die. And here, this place, I, I'm going to have to build a wall going across the water. It's just not going to be... Um, yeah, that's... It's not going to work any different. Because otherwise, I don't mind these hordes and I don't think they can really hurt me that much, but... They are a nuisance. They have a nuisance, but they're part of the game, makes the game interesting. So anyway, now where was I? Okay, here. Now the way, the reason I have these is, and I should tell you this now. You see that you have to hold the dirt, and you need dirt, and you only can use really one row. I decided to just plant the dirt like that. Okay. And I just hold this row, and I put the, instead of me planting oh crap instead of me planting all that dirt that I'm not gonna use I'm hoping and I have to test this obviously and I'm gonna test this while I'm building the rest of the um, while I'm building the rest of the uh, farm come on oh, my trees are over there and I think that looks good I don't know what do you think let me know do you want me do you think I should put the trees further away? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, that's all the dirt I had. So let's hoe that dirt and let's take one of my corn. And here we go. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay, okay. that looks weird. That doesn't look hoed at all. And we do the same here. I'm not going to do the other ones. Oh, look. Yeah, this one here doesn't get hold. Mm. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see. We're going to plant at least goldenrod into all of them. Now, let me get some seeds. Come on. Hey. Okay. Let me get some seeds. I will take... Two coffee seeds because I want to test it with coffee as well. I will take one corn seed only just in case it doesn't work so I don't waste my corn. I will take um, some potato seeds. Um, I have potatoes grown here so I can take all of them with me. And I will take some blueberry seeds with me. Okay, now. And of course I will take some cotton seeds. And I will take some of those seeds. Okay, so, that should be a good enough test to see if everything will grow in this weirdly shaped area. Okay, now, let's, okay, bit of a visual there. Yeah, sorry about that, sometimes my computer does that, it just seems to hang and then it comes back to life. It does it luckily only rarely. Okay, so now let's place some goldenrod here and here and some coffee here and here and I'm intentionally splitting them because I want to see if there's a difference in the setup. And potato and potato and po potato oh here come on oh yeah there, there should be still room for one in the middle okay that's weird is there not oh okay yeah and there we go and then we'll put one corn in which I will put right here in the middle and I will put a blueberry here and a blueberry here and then a cotton here uh, cotton here now in a few days this should hopefully grow as expected and if it does then hey woo! now the reason I leave these wood frames here in this area is very simple the zombies can they will be able to hit the bottom ground and when they do so I want to be able to take one of these out and start repairing the wall okay so that's why that is there now I better off get more dirt and I will get my metal first. Okay, there's still people screaming. I don't know. They're probably slowly destroying my cliff. 
I don't think I have any inside. Do I have anybody inside? No, 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 nobody inside. No. Okay. No idea. Fair enough. Um. Hey. Yeah, close that door just in case. And here we have all the ingots I need. And let's just put, um, well, we leave the ore on us. I don't really need, um, yeah, that was kind of pointless. Okay, and then we are going to have my tools here. Well, sorry, my crossbow, my fire axe. And my pickaxe. Yeah. Okay. Now let's go outside. And let's build more. Yeah, the metal trussing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go up there and I will probably. Oh, there they are. Look at that. Yes. Thank you. Oh, at least I got him in the shoulder. It wasn't complete waste. There we go. Nice, right in the neck. Oh, yay. There we go. There's probably still somebody screaming. Is it? No, no idea. Anyway, so what I will do now is I have some. I don't. The metal trussing, yeah, this is something I was playing around with, and a few of you guys said I should be able to do that. What I want to do is I want to build. Oh. I'm going to build another level of, um, let me think. If I'm a zombie and I'm standing on a spike here, I can hit this one and I probably can hit the one above. So, okay, the one above, I want to also make concrete. Yes. That probably would be a good idea. Okay, so I will have... Well, half of them I will turn into these and then I will do 23 rebar frames. That will be fine. Thank you very much. Now, I will put them up there and I'm not going to even, oh, I'm not even going to do the, 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 the middle pieces yet. I do them kind of last when, when I have the defenses, defenses built. I'll tell you now in a second what, what I'm trying to do. I want, I'm, work, I'm trying to work the roof out, basically. That's what I'm trying to work out. I want to make it a high roof. But at the same time, I want metal trussing. But I'm going to have to take that cladding off there. That, that, um... Yeah, I'm going to have to take that off, actually. Because um, I need to attach my bridge to that. And actually, not only that, I'm also going to have to take the wood out. You see the way this wood is there? If I attach something metal to the wood, the wood can only carry, uh, I think, a mass of 36, and metal is pretty heavy. So unless I can leave it a wood bridge, and I don't have to make metal trussing, that's fine. However, let's take some wood here. So if we do one... Two, three, four, five, and that's one low. That's actually very good. That's a very good height. So, so we have this wood here and this wood here. So this should allow me to go across here, which is great. So I don't need to make this. I don't need to make this uh, metal. That that's brilliant, actually. That that's very good. Oh, there was some. Oh, it disappeared. So that's brilliant. So I will have the defenses down here still anyway, but I will have a means now of getting across, which is great. And of course, this wall will be solid all the way across because, like I said, I want to plan on having a complete glass roof 
was only a few wood pieces going in between or metal pieces we'll see and have the rest being glass windows so that way hopefully there will be enough sunlight coming from the top into the farm that I can uh, you know like grow my things so that's the plan so that's the next test you know to actually finish one side and see and the roof if I'm lucky I won't even need much I will see actually um, let me place this here this and this so here is where the roof will come and one two three oh okay have to pick up that and then I'll just make a few more do I have more wood not on me actually and these trees are not ready yet they're not fat they're they're still the medium kind of look and these guys are not grown yet so these guys are about a day behind everybody else so I, I seeded them last so when these guys are fat I'm gonna get them all down so let me see I will <laughs> that's the thing I will need probably something in the middle because this is one two three well is that one two three four and here we have one two three four and let me see earth split and then we will have this guy sitting right in the middle between the two which is here is it I think so let me see and then we have Yes, so that's the exact middle, okay? And if I have my roof here, I probably only need that one pillar in the middle here. And how do I get across? I don't think I can go across with wood. So what I might have to actually do is put metal trussing on top and that way I can have a oh no sorry that's the glass wood of course yes yeah, so I will probably have to have a pillar somewhere else to be honest so we'll see and again these guys they will be red so I hope you get the logic now of the um, design like it's it's not really too complicated nothing major and yeah there we go this will also be one of the uh, red ones because they will just go all the way across and we might actually build a hatch here as well so we put a hatch here on on either side so that you can go up and down if you need to okay so I think that covers uh, this episode was um, uh, well I showed you my little mayhem I had with the hordes I showed you an odd horde that just stood there and was unable to get past these wood ramps making wood the wood ramps the most solid defense I've ever seen and um, we've continued a little bit on the we continued on the uh, farm and this farm is coming along nicely. I mean, I have to say it's a big project because it's actually bigger than I expected. When I originally laid out the groundwork, I was like, yeah, it's a couple of, you know, metal pieces and it's not much. It's a couple of things, you know, and that's it. Nothing major. But is there seriously? This sounds like somebody is down here. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's just really weird. Okay. Anyway, so um, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, um, always helps me. And if, you, if you're if you not subscribed yet and uh, you enjoyed this episode, um, please subscribe, of course, it always helps me. 
uh, to grow my channel and it gives me hopefully eventually more time to make more videos and um, also get better equipment like I got that Blue Yeti now which hopefully wasn't too bad so um, if it was awful and I can't get the recording done properly then um, I apologize for the bad quality in advance and I will go back to my old ways of recording which I sometimes will anyway depending how much background noise I have if the kids are in the background killing each other or not because this this Blue Yeti oh my god it picks up literally every single noise that is made in this house I mean it's 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 terrifying actually like how, how accurate it is I think you can hear my neighbors talk when I set it to record anyway look at this isn't that amazing now this is what you want isn't it I mean look at it we have to get the top view from that and I'm gonna have to make that the screenshot um, actually I also need to make a screenshot of that site let me just empty this yeah that's for a different episode that's for my looting episode which I recorded already and I never made a screenshot for so I need to do that and this here look at this this is beautiful oh that's where these guys are all the way on the top whole mother of everything so can I get somehow I want to get that the trees in there as well yeah I think what I might have to do is um, get a little bit of elevation yeah that's nice is it I think so Yeah, that, that looks nice. I can live with that. Okay, so thank you very much for watching again. And uh, again, leave a like if you enjoyed it. If you if you didn't, ah, just leave a comment, you know, tell me why. And uh, you don't have to, just dislike it. <laughs> that's, that's what the like and dislike buttons are for. And if you're not soaked and you enjoy this uh, and you want to see more, subscribe. Also check out my other videos. I have some how-to guides on Seven Days to Die. I'm also starting other Let's Plays on other games. Um, so have a look and um, I hope you enjoy yourself. And if you decide to subscribe, I hope you enjoy the channel. Thank you very much. So this is Games for Cakes and happy gaming.